Hi there, Prairie Plant Girl here. So uh, today I want to just have a really good look inside my brassica beds. Um, I haven't really pulled the cover back and had a really good look in there in quite a while. Uh, I know last time I just kind of had a little peek. Uh, I saw there's at least one graffiti cauliflower growing in there. I had some broccoli that blew out on me while um, I was away. And I just need to have a really good look and see what's going on in there. But before I can do that, I need to deal with this uh, flea beetle issue that's happening on the outside because I don't want to let these guys in. I have a really good quality netting on here and it, it keeps them out. But um, I don't want to, once I open it all up, they're just going to to get in there. So right now, all well, these things getting in there are the ones that were in the soil, I think. But uh, I don't want to let any of these guys in. So I'm going to spray them down with this, this spray here. Um, if you want to see what I'm using, check the description down below. You'll find, I'll try and get a link for the spray and the netting and anything else I find interesting. I, I always put it down in the description down below. So it's always worth having a little peek there if you're interested in the things I'm using. But uh, let's take care of these guys. I can see they're actually eating anywhere the, the leaves are touching the, the netting. They're actually chewing through the netting. Lovely. So I wonder if they're laying eggs through it too. I need to get this under control. Okay, so I can see what's going on in here now. Because it's like the middle of the day and I sprayed that soap off with some shade over this so hopefully the sun doesn't burn these, but yeah, you can see they're, they're getting in there and it's, I think they're laying eggs right through the netting because it's just so hard to control these things. This is a pyrethrin base spray that I use. So, so I can see very nice graffiti cauliflower growing in there. It's a little bit shadowy right now. But beautiful color. I've never had one before. Looks like this one's trying to get a little bit of a head on it in here. It's just, you know, there's going to be camera shadows everywhere today. There's a little bit of a head just starting in there. So I think, I can't remember the name. It's a white cauliflower, this one. There's another one in here. Is it Snowball? I can't remember. It's starting to, to do something, so maybe it'll go. A nice, I think this is the Red Rock Mammoth Cabbage. It's trying to head up. There's another cauliflower trying to Trying to head up in here. I had planned that the, ca the cauliflower would be done and the cabbage could still be going here so they'd have more room, but the uh, weather's not cooperating with me this year, so there's another cabbage back here. I think this will be the cheddar cauliflower. It looks like it wants to get a head on it. I believe this is another one back here. It's thinking about it. And I have a Brussels sprouts and they're not, they're getting the stock, but they're not doing anything else. And it looks like I have some broccoli back there. Let's go to the other side. This is broccoli. No, I can't remember what order I put. This is the Imperial Broccoli here. I have a tag there. So, oh, there's one starting to go along there. Oh, I just have flea beetles on me everywhere. Oh. That would be another Imperial in there. Oh, here's a nice, I don't think that's Imperial. Oh, it is. So that's another imperial. Oops. 
there, starting. That looks like a nice, nice head of broccoli there. This is the green magic broccoli. It's trying to get, trying to get a head on it. Here's one I cut. I think this was a green magic. If you see that, I was hoping it might throw some side shoots out, but it doesn't look like it's going to. Yeah, that one I cut was just it had blown. This almost looks like Brussels sprouts, though. I thought it should be another broccoli here. Kind of looks like Brussels sprouts, so I'm not sure. There's definitely Brussels sprout plants here. Again, they're just a little weeny, tiny, little tiny little sprouts starting. I don't know if they'll do anything. More cabbage. This is a gunma. Trying to head up. Another one over here. So overall, it's not not an impressive brassica bed this year. It's just been too hot and dry. Um, I actually saw a news release. They said that uh, here in Saskatchewan, we're having a worse drought this year than we've seen in a hundred years. I don't. I didn't see the actual stats to go with that. I can't tell you the exact numbers in that, but. I do know it's been very hot and very dry and it's taken its toll. And on top of that, uh, we had that, um, we had a really abnormally warm kind of March and then it got cold again in April and May, I think. And uh, from what I've heard, that's what's killed off a lot of our ladybugs and uh, other natural predators. Um, and I know in March, the ladybugs were out already. And uh, then we got that cold and I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen a single ladybug in my yard this year. And I can see it with the, the aphids and the other pests. Like I've had more of those than I've ever seen in the past. And I don't like to use sprays and things. So I'm trying really hard to just, you know, wade it through. Um, but uh, it's been a tough year. And I know other people are dealing with fires and flooding and all sorts of things. And I'm not, you know, just looking to whine. I'm just saying that's, I'm, I'm expecting this kind of result or worse out of this this bed here uh, and uh, so I'm actually I'm happy with what I'm seeing because it's better than I would have expected um, for the year that we're having so I think I'm going to actually spray these down one more time with the net off put the net back on and just put some shade over them for today we're supposed to, today's actually, it's only about 28 degrees out right now, and tomorrow and the next few days, I think it's supposed to be like 35 or so. So uh, this is kind of my last chance to even try and give this a try. And then tonight I'm going to come out and my nasturtiums are just full of, um, my nasturtiums are just full of the flea beetles as well. So I'm going to actually spray them and then pull them out. And uh, hopefully that takes some of the, the flea beetle pressure out of the yard a little bit too but I want to wait because there's a lot more pollinators and things over um, by the nasturtiums than there is on on the the brassica plants so I don't want to risk actually spraying on, on anything that might be helping me out over there so I'm gonna wait till the sun's down and it's a little bit uh, cooler out so maybe some of those uh, beneficials have have gone to bed for the night but yeah, anyways, this is just a quick look at my, my brassicas. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Um, leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you're experiencing. I love to hear from other gardeners and, and hear, you know, what they're dealing with in their yards, how things are going. I love to hear about your successes, but uh, it's great to hear about um, things you're having trouble with and what you're doing to, to maybe help it, or if you're just like me and just kind of waiting this season out and hoping for a better next year. <laughs> but uh We'll see you in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye. So I just wanted to show you real quick. I put a, an umbrella up, but then I just couldn't get it set right to get very good coverage. Um, so then I put just like some harvest cloth over it. It'll let some sun, like a little bit of light and air flow through, but uh, it'll protect from the harshest rays. So 
Hopefully the wind stays fairly calm and that works out.